the weight this week will have on your family is certainly heavy. What does Law Enforcement Memorial Week mean to you? And were you aware that this week existed before this year? Um, I'll start. We, we did not know it existed before this year. We've been part of the law enforcement community for 22 years, and it's not till something happened like this that you're aware of the so many things that people do for law enforcement and for the fallen. Um, so yes, we're taking it um, very much to heart this year, just like a lot of the community is, I think. Um, so yeah, we did not know it existed before. During this week, there's normally a week-long event in Washington, D.C., where fallen officers are honored, including having their name added to the National Law Enforcement Memorial Wall. Did your family plan on attending? And what do events and ceremonies like this do for your family? Um, we were going to go, and then, of course, got postponed, but it's a good way to honor everything that somebody like my dad did. I think it helps so too is that we are going to connect with other families who have gone through the same thing as we've gone through and um, we were hoping for that and we're still hoping for it so we will look forward to going to it. On Monday, this coming Monday, you will attend the statewide Nebraska Law Enforcement Memorial Ceremony in Grand Island. What does it mean to honor Mario in this way? I mean to us personally it means a lot. Um, one thing, I mean, Mar, I don't think will ever be forgotten in Lincoln, of course, but um, I just, we want to make sure that he's never forgotten by the entire public state of Nebraska. And um, I think it's a great way to honor him and the other fallen. So. How would you describe the support you received following Mario's death? Um, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can all say that. Um, I've said it before that I think we were all um, in our own little cocoon up there, not really knowing exactly what was going on. Um, people would tell us things and we were just in awe. Um, we really saw it after we came home, after Maria passed and we came home and um, people were telling us the things that they were doing and um, it, it helped us tremendously. So I, I mean everything from some of the teachers the, the girls had for teachers at school, um, the colleges, uh, everything. So it was a huge, huge part of us healing. What surprised you the most? Um, I can answer for myself. I think that uh, what surprised me the most was that uh, you heard a lot of grief about officers and how I, you, the community doesn't think that, that they're liked. And then once this happened, the community was complete opposite. Um, so much support, not just for us, but for other officers and the police department. And um, it surprised me that how many people really came forward and cherished the police department. Is there anything you'd like to say to the community about the support you've received? Do you guys anybody else want to answer this? I think we're just really appreciative, everybody, because it does help seeing all the support you have. And just a huge, huge thank you um, for still supporting us and um, just and supporting uh, officers in general is a huge support for our family. So. Okay. Having a father or <laughs> husband in law enforcement, you've always inherently been part of the law enforcement profession. How do you feel about the profession after what your, your family has endured? Um, I think, if anything, we're more appreciative of them and what they do for getting up every day and protecting us. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think we all agree with that, and I think, I think a lot more people think that too. Is that they they understand more what officers go through, and that um, we couldn't do it without them. How has your family been coping with the loss of your father and husband? Um, we sp we spend a lot of time together. Not that we didn't before, but um, you know, we really make sure that every Sunday we have dinner together, and we just mainly just sit there and talk. But I think it's good that we all make time for each other now. And yeah. Kind of keep him in the room, so to speak. Or? 
We kind of do, and at, at the beginning it was very hard. I don't think we did, we didn't a lot in the beginning just because um, it always ended up somebody was crying, and then once one, one of us cries, we all cry. Everybody does. <laughs> yeah. So I think now we, um, it's definitely, um, what, what word do you want to I think like happy memories. Yeah, like I think we cry, but it's a good thing because yeah. we remember how the happy things. It's more of like a thankful cry that we had that time with him. Yeah. What kinds of things are you doing as a family to make sure his sacrifice is not forgotten? Um, number one, supporting Carlos, and number two, supporting every officer that does what, what Mario did. I mean, it's, um, I think that's probably our biggest way to support Mario is to, I mean, he wasn't huge, you know, into safety, I mean, into, what, what word do I want to use? Like Public safety. Public safety, mm -hmm. and so, um, yeah, I think that, and just keeping him going. Like, said, like she said, talking about him all the time, and he's always part of us. So, what do you want people to know about your dad or husband, ex-husband? What do you want people to know about Mario? He was a good guy, and he was a good officer. He did a lot of good for the city of Lincoln over his 22 years, and um, I think the city, the citizens, know it and appreciate it. You guys want to add anything about Dad? I think that pretty much summed it up. Yeah. Yeah. And after like when like all like other people's stories came out about like what he did for them, that was really cool to hear like their stories. Mm -hmm. Anything else you want to add about Mario? That's our last question. No, I think so. I think Celia said it right though too. We didn't realize. After being an officer for 22 years, we didn't realize the impact he had on people of his all his little deeds every day until after he died. Um, so many stories came out, so many letters, so many people would run into us and say, oh, I ran into your dad and he did this, he did that. And we didn't really know. I mean, you know he's a good guy, but you didn't know all the little things that he did for people. And if, yeah, if Carlos can follow in those footsteps, it's a pretty good deal. Pretty good deal. No pressure. pressure. <laughs> Okay, that's all I got unless you guys have anything else you want to add? No, for just the group. thank you for everything. It's, it's hard, we've, we've, but we're keeping going, so. But it's, it's the support of everybody in doing this and doing us things for our family that make it a little more bearable. So, thank you. Gotcha. Yeah. Mm -hmm.